Hello, hello, hey, hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Alright, so in today's video is going to be a little different. I am not in my living room right now. I'm actually in the studio. This is the painting studio where Indra and I paint. Today's video is going to be slightly different because instead of showing you the end result, I will be making them with you. So today we're going to DIY this old thing right here. Wait, I'm going to move. Today we are going to DIY this old shoe rack. This is actually, uh, I think Indra bought from Shopee for only like 50 ringgit? 80 ringgit. Oh, that's pretty expensive, but uh, this is how it looks like. Wait, let me put it up like this. So this is where we put all of our shoes. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with a handle, but they have the handle holes right here. So when we bought it in the picture, it looks super nice. Unfortunately, when it arrived, it looks somewhat a little bit different than what we expected. So we don't want this kind of shoe rack. So we're going to elevate it instead of buying a new one because I hope it will be slightly cheaper. All right, so let's start with the things, with the things you need. First, you'll be needing this, um, what do you call This is the cabinetry legs that you put at the bottom. So we want to elevate this a little bit. This is about 10 inch, I guess, or six. I don't know. Then you'll be needing a spray paint. This one is optional. You can use normal paint or any kind of paint that you like. I'm just too lazy, so I'm opting for this spray paint. Sandpaper, screwdrivers, and also this one, is a gold handle because this one didn't come with a handle so I bought a new one. This one is also from Shopee. I bought this for only 4 ringgit each. And last but not least, we need a lot of this. This is a 1 inch by 1 inch wood. So each wood is about 8 feet long and then you can ask them to cut it for you. So I am cutting this into 2 feet of each and I bought 26 of them. There's a lot more over here. And last but not least, you'll be needing a power drill. It's right over there. You can see that? Yeah, it's over there. So let's start. Hello. All right, so the first thing you need to do is basically lay out all of the wood like this together. And the best part about buying this wood from the hardware store, you can ask the person in charge to actually cut them for you. So that's what I did. So I can easily skip the part where I need to cut them one by one for two feet. And the next step is you need to take your sandpaper, take it out, and now you need to sand this one by one. So this is going to take some time. And after all of the wood has been sanded down, you need to arrange them again like this. And then it's time to drill some holes. So basically what I'm doing, I'm going to mark about... So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark about 4 inch from the bottom and then do one straight line. I'm just gonna freestyle it right over here. And we're, gonna do, oh, we're gonna do one four inches right over here. All right. And then we're gonna take the power drill and we're going to drill holes along the line that I have just made. All right. And then you have something like this. So you can see over here, these are the holes that I have made and this. And you can skip this part if you have a nail gun. Unfortunately, I don't. So I'll be screwing this to the shoe rack. And that is what we're going to do now. Well, sorry guys, the studio is not in the best shape. It is very messy because we are doing some art. So I'm just taking the morning part for me to do my DIYs and then later today we're gonna do more art. And if you haven't already followed me on my art page, you guys can go into the description below and follow me there on my Instagram. So what I'm gonna do right now is basically I'm gonna take all of the sticks and I will be screwing them to the shoe racks like this. Yep, something like this along the way. Well, if you've seen my thumbnail, you know how it looks like in the end. But I'm just gonna show you guys how I did it. So first, you can lay your shoe rack like this because I'm too lazy. Or you can just take it off one by one, pieces by pieces, and then just screw them on separately. But I'm just too lazy for that. I ain't got no time for that. So no, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna lay it right here and then I'm just gonna screw it on top. And after you are done with arranging them, it will look something like this. So I think you guys know how it looks like in the end, because after I painted black and whatever. But right now, it's time for me to fix it to the 
shoe rack using a screw and a screwdriver by the way i want to know how do you guys feel about the lockdown again i mean pff, no raya for us right so i'm kind of bumped up <laughs> But whatever, right? I don't know what I'm saying. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and screw this first, all right? And after you are done with the front part, it will look something like this. It feels so good already. Like, I love the outer layer. Alright, so I am done with the screwing of the wood to the shoe rack. The front part is all good and the side part you can see it is slightly further apart from each other because I don't have much wood left with me. So everything is good. Now it's time for me to paint them black. Well, I'm not going to paint them. I'm just going to spray paint them. So I got spray paint right here. This is Pilox from Nippon Paint. This one is really really fast curing. Literally after 5 minutes of spraying it, it is fully dry. So you guys should really check this out if you're looking for a good spray paint. Hi guys, so check this out. Look at that. It looks so amazing. I'm sorry about the lighting. It is raining right now. So it's a bit dark but I don't care. Look at that. Oh, love it. And then look at it on the side. That's me. And I just love the way how the spray paint make everything looks matte. Yes, of course it doesn't look so much even, but that means I made it myself. So people can know that I made it myself. So the rougher the edges, it shows that you don't buy it at the store. Probably you can't buy it at the store. Actually you can, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But look at that. Alright, so now we are adding the final touches. I will be adding the legs. Oh, that almost hit my face. Oh, and that's the thunder. So I'm gonna add these legs at the bottom and also, last but not least, but I'll be adding these gold handles right over here. You can see that? Ah, Alright, so in the next few seconds, you will see the finished product. This upcycle moment, which is the shoe rack that I bought from Shopee that is actually pretty trash. And we elevate it slightly into something that is more pretty. Yep. Alright, so I'm gonna get this done and see you in a bit. Alright, so that's all from me for today's video. And if you guys love this kind of video, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn the bell notification on so you will be notified every time I post a brand new video. And also be sure to follow me on all of my social media, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. All the links down below. And yeah, I guess that is all from me today. So, bye!